What's going on guys? So in this video I'll show you guys how to use the Panda Board GVO2 uh, flashing LED. Well I have created a bash shell script here. It's safe as uh, flash.sh on my notepad for plus. So we're just gonna enter the directory uh directive. Uh, and then the GPL uh, user input we store in this variable and the time uh, delay here. And here's the if statement to make sure that the user has entered those two inputs. I uh, have the uh, minus Z option to check if the length of the string is zero or not. So if it's uh, zero on, uh, on either of them, then I'll show the help option, back out the option here, and then just exit the program and else just uh, echo back the uh, user input to debug and end a statement here and then in, in the next line here I have uh, changed the ownership by using sudo uh, change own and then have the verbal uh, switch here and then the owner the new owner and then the group and the, the file I'm trying to change is the export file so once you change the ownership, you can do whatever you want. It's a lot easier to access the GPO that way. So next thing you do is write the GPO number using the greater sign to the export. So this is from the user input. That's a variable. And then next thing you do is make uh, your life a lot easier is by changing uh, the path set so in the variable here and change the ownership of everything. Uh, inside that new uh, folder using the recursive verbal uh, switches. Okay, and then the next thing you can do is you can now you, you can now write to the uh, direction and uh, set the values uh, without uh, worrying about permission issues. And then here is the for loop to blink uh, or to turn on and off the uh, GPIO. So I'm I'm doing this for 50 times, and you do a do a for loop. You have to set uh, an index, and then uh, do the in, and then the brackets here, and inside the do and done to specify the uh, loop here. And the first thing you do is echo zero to the value, and then check the value, and sleep. Uh, set the sleep time. And then echo high on to the value, and then check the value again, and then sleep again, and that is all you have to do. So I'm just gonna copy uh, everything here, and then paste to my uh, uh, file. I'll just make another file here on my Pandora server. I'll do vi flash sh, and then here, just uh, press I for input, and just right click on the mouse, and I'll paste it and hit the escape key do the colon x let's save the file and change the mod to mission 755 to flash dot sh and now I can execute my flash sh and here's the uh, user help menu so I need to enter the gpio and then the delay time oh, it's one second here so that's the output it changed the ownership and here is the current state on off on off so if you just uh, hook up a jumper wire to the GPIO uh, 140 and then uh, to an LD you should be able to blink see it blinking make sure you ground it too uh, okay what else okay so I went online and looked ground and this is a really nice uh, what, what website here. It's the uh, Bigger Board for Dummies blog and it shows you the different uh, I know there's three there's three uh, programs here you can try out and the one I have tried out is the one that's the reading the user uh, input button. Alright so I basically uh, c copy and paste that uh, into my own uh, notepad so here I have. So the only user input it, it needs is the uh, GPL number for the uh, the push button from the pendant board. 
So that's be 121 on the pendant board. So let's copy and paste this and make another uh, file here, uh, program. So I'll call this one uh, read.sh and then just copy and paste that program here. And yeah, took. let's see if it was right. Um, okay, so yeah, that's good. All right, clean up. Why is there clean up? Okay, okay. Uh, let's not concern with the code for now you can check out later but I want to show you guys the uh, how it works so save this escape change mod re 75 of the re sh here change mod 755 re sh all right all right and then re sh uh, 121. So uh, this is like an oscilloscope thing where here I'm pressing my uh, pendant board uh, push button here and when I push down it so it lo shows a low state output here so when I when I release it it becomes the high state so that's pretty cool. So you definitely should check out this uh, blog it's for uh, it's bb4dummies.blogspot.com and the keywords here are uh, bigger board for dummies and I, I really like this program yeah so I can definitely see uh, uh, this would be a uh, you know useful for later on control escape all right so that that will end this video Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment.